Reporters come out that the Nigerian police force have been put on red alert in regards to an upcoming protest on August 1st. They have two weeks to prepare themselves and it is not baseless concern. Government officials are also worried over this nationwide protest. The reason it is very important to cautious about this coming August 1st protest is because several organizations are individually choosing that specific date. We have religious bodies, both Christian and Muslims, fractions of those religious bodies planning a peaceful protest on August 1st. We have the Nigerian Labour Congress planning. We have a section of social media youth planning their own. These are the same or potentially you can or estimate that these are the same people that did the ENSA, that organized the ENSA's protest, which later lost control, derailed into mayhem, and innocent civilians and police officers, even a soldier, they lost their lives. And we are seeing what is happening in Kenya and how these same youths have been fed through social media. So it is not something to just ignore. And the aim of the protest is to draw attention to the worsening hardship in our country. People are hungry in the literal sense. Although I'm stabilized my finance, there was a time I stayed two days in a week at the eight so that I can use the money to do other things. And I consider myself middle class. I was middle. Inflation has taken that away from me, downgraded. And they are not just saying this a hardship. They have structured demand including reversal of certain policies that have caused hardship, monetary policy, policy about subsidies, uh, and also wages. So it's not just a group is talk, complaining about wages, another one is complaining about subsidy, another one is complaining about insecurity, which leads to farmers unable to go and farm, which leads to hunger and inflation. But inflation is the worst. Another one is complaining about for scarcity. Anyway, check out my next video where I explain why Dangote is a failure all of a sudden. Why the oil-rich country do not have oil to give Dangote to refine his oil. There is no oil in Nigeria right now to, give, to be refined.